Today I'm going to very simply show you how to get Creative Cloud installed on your Windows system, either it is Windows 10 or 11. Let's get started. If you want to use apps like Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop or something else, you would require this app to make them work. So to get started, first open your browser and then on Google, search for Creative Cloud app. After you do this, click on the above link, click on this link right here where it says download Creative Cloud desktop app. Let's go to the download page itself. And then right here, you can easily click on download Creative Cloud and then right above, it will go to your downloads folder. Just click on it once to open it and then it will open the setup. Very easily, here we have the installation. Do note, you need an account. So let's click on continue and then on yes. The account you're going to require is Google, so make sure that you click on it, then log in with Google, and if you're logged in, you can easily access Creative Cloud itself. Did you know with the plans pricing, if you're a student, you get a lot of discounts. So right here, you can see in US that having all 20 apps, you can actually be paying 42 bucks per month. But if you're a student, you can actually get it for way cheaper. So $30 per month instead of the other. And even better, sometimes you even get these packages all from your school itself. So make sure you ask for it. And those are probably the enterprise packages right here. So if you're a student on school right now, ask for these packages because you could get a very big discount. I do hear people saying on Reddit that having the photography the Photoshop and Lightroom is fine for them. But if you're not video editing, I guess that's fine. So just let Adobe Creative Cloud run and afterwards it's going to install. Make sure you're logged in so I can actually directly access your account. Right here, you can see that I'm logged in and the app is fully working. Right above, you have some account settings, for example, preferences, how much cloud storage you're using. If you want to have it starting up with your Windows, if you want to keep your apps auto updated, make sure you select this when you're installing your apps. Notifications can be annoying, so you can easily disable them here. You've got some Adobe fonts, which is a very big collection. And of course, the appearance, which can be on your preference. For example, dark mode, I think it's way better. On the home, you can actually change the shortcuts. You see all the way below here. Right here, you can feel all the plans if you want to. And do note, you're getting 45% off with your first year. After this year, the amount is going to increase. So this one can be a very good one for you if you get started. Because otherwise, you will only get one app and that's way more expensive. If you get two apps separately, you're paying a lot more than this subscription. Make sure you're ending it after this year, otherwise you will be paying the full price. So it depends on you. If you're only doing Photoshop and thumbnail designing, this should be fine by you. And if you're using only editing, you can do this. But if not, the full package is just 40 bucks. But also it depends on your location. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you found this a little bit useful. And yes, myself, I am using Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and all that to produce all of our videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.